Welcome to the HyperWorks 2023 introduction videos. This video is about selecting entities. You will see how to select entities individually, use advanced selection methods, and use the window selection. Selection of entities to work on or with can be performed within a tool. This will be done in later exercises. Selection can also be done in the so-called idle mode. This offers selection in advance, before deciding for an action. The selection is made via the so-called selector, which offers all selectable entity types that are available in the model. Here, set it to nodes as the entity type to select. Now each selection method you may apply will select nodes. Let us start with the most basic selection type. Click the left mouse button to select single nodes. See that the current selection clears the previous one. Hold down the control key while clicking to select multiple nodes. Press shift to deselect individual nodes. Now switch the selector to the entity type elements so each subsequent selection activity affects elements. Note that by switching, the elements associated with the previously selected nodes are now selected. This applies to many entity types which can be related, including nodes and systems, for example. With your existing selection of elements, now take a look at the right-click menu. This contains selection options, divided into two sections. The upper one contains general selection types, like all or displayed and some that select based on an existing selection. The lower one is called advanced selection and offers numerous additional selection methods. Start in the top pane with attached faces. Note that this selects elements in a flat area, starting from your existing element selection. Now, before taking a look at the advanced selection, reset the current selection. This can be done through the right-click menu or the backspace key. Note that a left-click into the background will also clear your selection, which is what happened here. Now take a look at the advanced selection in the right-click menu. You'll see that the by face option is offered there, which works a little differently than the attached faces option used before. If you hover over the model, entire faces are highlighted, which are selected when you left-click. Click to make selections. Note that subsequent selections will erase previous selections unless you hold down the control key. Shift click to deselect a face. Now try one of the most common advanced selection methods by component. This selects all elements of a component which is an entity you may want to imagine as a part. Select a component from the list or click on it in the graphics area. Finally, let us have a look at the window selection. Make sure the selector is still set to elements, then start dragging a window while holding down the left mouse button. Again, a next window selection clears the previous one. To select by additional windows, hold down the control key. To deselect, hold down the shift key. Use the right-click menu to select the window type for a selection. Here you also find the option to select outside the window versus inside, and to select only entities that are visible in the foreground. The next video in the series will show you how to adjust display options of your model. Thanks for watching.